Today, I'm gonna deal with BIOS passwords. Uh, I got this computer from someone. Uh, I've been buying a broken down computer so I can fix them. And uh, this one uh, came with a admin and user password. So there was no way to, to get into the BIOS to remove the restrictions. So even though there's a hard drive with an operating system, it wouldn't let me go into it. Uh, first, you, you need to put in the password. So if I put something here, passwords, and by the third time, it just tastes like that. It doesn't give you an option to uh, do it again. So I go here, turn it off. And then I turn it on. So as soon as you turn on the computer, it's gonna ask you for the password, even before you see the logo, before anything. Uh, when I got the computer, it didn't came with a with the battery. So right now I'm running it without the the system battery, but I'm only running it with the power outlet. So they, I searched uh, in forums and I tried different ways to do it and finally I find a way and this is how, how I did it. Uh, first um, turn it off and we need to disconnect it and then we need to remove the, the battery. This one, the system battery for uh, the BIOS. So the way to remove it, it's you kind of go like that, push it, and then it should pop off. Come on, doing it with one hand. There it is. So now the battery is off. From there, no power, no battery over here to, to power the system. So we need to drain all the power that's left in the capacitors and anything in the motherboard. So we press the power button, which in this case it's over here. And I'm able to press it by hand. And we need to do it for about uh, 30 seconds. Okay, that should be long enough. Okay, after doing that, I'm going to put the battery back on in here. And then I'm going to power the, connect the power to the laptop by over here. And without pressing anything, it's going to try to start. First, that LED, then we get the other LEDs flashing, and then we see the logo. So this only works the first time you do it, that it goes into whatever you're gonna boot, either Windows or a recovery disk or something. So here I am in Windows. Right now I'm using a, an installation of Windows that I just for testing so the the important thing we we want to see is the date so in this case it is set to 329 2007 to I mean 2010 what I found uh, online was that there's a corresponding code you can use depending on the date and uh, you could uh, try to go here and change it to any date uh, I tried to do it once but it didn't work for me but then I I looked uh, for the code corresponding to the current date my system is set 
So it is uh, March 29, 2010. The, I go to that website, which I'm going to put the link down in the, in the notes under the video. And in here you can find a whole list of uh, different dates and corresponding numbers you can use. I mean, uh, passwords. So we said our password, our, well, I mean our date was March 29, 2010. Okay, so we are here in 2010, March. 30. Let's see. Yeah. Let's just make sure it is the correct date. March 29th, 2010. And and here March 29th, which would be top one in there. That's gonna be our uh, our code. In this list, whenever you see like a circle, that's an O. Whenever you see a circle with a line running through it, that's a zero. And let me write our code down, which is. So now I I come back to my my computer, which I'm trying to fix, and I simply go and turn it off. So that's why I installed the the transmitter so I could use a keyboard and my mouse. I go here now I go to shut down now I turn it on again and right away I get the enter password window in there so on my keyboard I press Alt and R at the same time. And now it tells me enter rescue password. So this is our rescue password, the one we got from that list. So I'm gonna enter it. Which is okay, so now I press enter and it boots into Windows. So that that means it worked. And um, now I'm entering Windows. So I'm bypassing the, the passwords, both the, and as I said, it's, I'm just testing this window, so it's, I don't activate it, because I'm gonna keep uh, removing it and reinstalling on different laptops okay so now I go here to Windows shut down and I turn it on again and it works I press escape well I should have pressed escape sooner so I can uh, try to go into the BIOS Right now, as, as you can see, I, I'm able to get back into Windows easily. And let's do that again. File, shut down. Okay, so turn it on. And right away, I'm going to tap on Escape. And when I do that, 
it's going to give me a menu. And once you get the menu, you go down to enter setup. And then um, I move uh, right with the arrow keys. One, two, and three, down to security. And as you can see, it still says the administrator password, it's installed. Also the user password is installed. So right now, because I'm only using the rescue password, it thinks that it's still installed, but I'm able to, to work on it. So to make sure it's uninstalled, I go to, again, as if I was gonna set it up, I go to set up administrator password, and it says create new password. I don't type anything, I just leave it blank, and I press enter. And to confirm, I just press enter again, and now it says password not installed. I press enter again, and as you can see, now it changes to not installed. Now let's do the same thing with the user password. It says create new password, enter, enter, and enter. Now, none of the passwords are installed. So, I go to the right, and here it says save and exit, and I go save changes, and press enter. It says save configuration, I press yes, and that's it. I'm gonna go in here to exit. So save changes and exit. And it tells me again. And now I have no more passwords and it's ready to go. And on this computer, I just need to install Windows I put it back together, add memory, hard drive, everything that it needs, and it's done. And thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And please let me, uh, let me know in the comments if uh, this was helpful or if you want to see something else. Thank you.